Yeah, that's totally fair, Spongy. He does have a lot of Kirby experience. Yeah. Yeah, all just right. a reminder, there are three broadcasts up right now of D1 pools, so you can you could have them all open if, uh, you know, you have the bandwidth, I guess. <laughs> these, are very, these very high-quality N64 streams. Yes. Ooh, that was close. All right. Looks like Hotline starting to take control. There we go. Nice DJ scene there. That'll kill. Nice fluid movement. No shield break, but gets the up tilt. And that, I believe, is no jump, but gets some tack on damage there. It would have had him if he had actually jumped out to, like, edge guard with the back air. Yeah. That would have been a great trade. Nice weight on the up tilt. Ooh. Can't quite chase him down. Get that. This is big, big damage. Nice combo. Follows him to the platform. The F air. And that is going to do it. And just like that, E-Pad takes the lead. Tacked on some nice damage there. Ooh, and not going to be able to follow up with that. Too high a percentage. But the back air should kill. E-pad content to just pack on damage. Ooh, and a missed grab from Hotline. Didn't hurt him too badly, and he's getting nice combo there. Almost ties this up, and a back air gets him off stage. Back in control of this match. Ooh, very risky. Yeah, Hotline's definitely going to be fishing for these back airs until something else, but that does it. Stale back air at that percent, still will kill. All right, E-Pad definitely, ooh. I was gonna say he wants to take the stock quick, but didn't happen. Hotline comes back in control. It's a quick DJC, Nair, F air, and off stage, done. E pad sticking with Pikachu. Yeah. No. All right, quick song change from E pad, and we are going right back into game two. Everyone's staying the same. Hotline very good with these uh, super armors. And E-Pad's trying to approach with the F-Air, which is the best option to both tack on damage and just avoid the, uh, the super armor. It still isn't working out. Hotline's all over him. He's following him off the platforms. And... Oh, just misses that F-Air. That could have... 
definitely been enough to uh, lead into another aerial and get Hotline off stage without his jump. Epat smart to just do a couple zip zaps, get out of there, reset neutral. They're both looking for just back air, yep, to kill, and Hotline finds it first. Ooh, and misses the up tilt, surprisingly, and it's a big opening for Hotline here. Wow, huge damage, that's gonna be a kill. Beautiful, just clean combo. Epad, don't really know, don't know how much he DIs or how much he can maybe mix up. Uh, he cleans up his own kill there. Nice little up tilt, reverse back air. Highline, really, really impressive though with, uh, oh man, so close. Hotline impressive with the, both the DJC uh, aerials and the parries, uh, making a huge difference in, the, uh, in this matchup. And being able to capitalize on them too. It's one thing to get a parry, but to, in order to uh, know what to do afterwards. Epad though, nice little uh, follow up off stage to uh, Secure his second kill here, basically tied up here. Oh, nice, perfect land on platform to up smash. There again, another uh, another parry. Oh man, so close, just a couple up airs and a, maybe a back air would have handled that stock, but instead, Hotline lives. That's a nice combo. Epad really has to be careful. Make sure his approaches are smart. There we go. Nice, packing on damage, but that's huge with that back air or down air from Yoshi. I have not not seen Epad DI through that. That just short of killing. Nice, nice up tilt. Oh, tries to get the grab. Another good parry from the hotline. Dash attack is the only thing that's going to make it. And oh man, misses the zip zap. Hate to, uh, hate to end the game on that. That close.